Good evening. My name is Leonard J. Parker Jr. And this is another episode of Ain't No Way This Happened. I'm a retired teacher from Louisiana Public School System of 30 years. And I'm going to give you two things that happened in the public school system. And you got to figure out if it happened or not. Now, both of these situations today are situations where principals broke up fights. We start off in a middle school. And you had this principal broke up a fight. Well, you know, the principals, they're trying to keep fights from happening in schools, and they're trying to keep kids learning in the classroom. And when they get a fight at their school, it really upsets the principals. So, the principal broke this fight up, but they said he used excessive force. So when he broke the fight up, he used excessive force. So, what they did was, they told the principal they're gonna transfer him to the high school, because this happened in the middle school. When they transferred him to the high school, they informed him that he wouldn't be, his contract would not be picked up for next year. That means he's gonna be losing his job. So he has basically three months to get ready to find him another job. Hmm. Now you look at some situations where police officers leaving the house and they use excessive force, they trying to do their job. And this principal had a fight in his school and he broke it up a little too rough and lost his job. They transferred him to the high school and then three months later, he didn't have a job anymore. Hmm. And two kids who was fighting probably got five days suspension. You think something like this happens? Our next fight is at a very, very large inner city high school where the principal broke the fight up. Now everybody remember the movie Joe Clark where Joe Clark was running, walking around with the bat in his hand, having discipline on campus because he was in this inner city school. Well, this principal was doing something real similar, but he had a stick in his hand. And he had a very tough fight. And he broke it up. And when he was trying to break it up, the kids would not stop fighting. So he took the stick and hit a couple, a few of the kids a couple of times to try to get them to stop fighting. And he eventually got them to stop fighting. Nothing that would hurt him, just, hey, stop fighting. Well, that principal lost his job. And then the principal got one of the best lawyers in the city who deal with educational situations. And she won the case for him after about two or three years. You know, doing your job and you get fired kids fighting each other where they could hurt themselves or hurt another person and you just trying to break it up and you lose your job. You got a lot of teachers today, they won't even get involved in breaking up a fight because they can get hurt, have to go to physical therapy, or they can get hurt so bad they might have to retire. So sometimes they're just looking at the fight or they, they, they're, they're yell, help, 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 but they won't even get involved in breaking it up. Because guess what? I could lose my job. And yeah, they do send teachers to certain classes to know how to break up a fight the correct way. But when you got a fight and you're trying to break it up so kids won't hurt themselves or the other person they're fighting, sometimes you just don't think. So you got to decide on if that happens. Do principals lose their job because they break fights up with excessive force? That's what they call it. Or you just could say, principal's breaking up a fight. But you got to decide if it happened. This is Lemon J. Parker Jr. Signing off.